For this quadratic equation, I'm going to find the solutions using the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, and then all over 2a. So in order to use this formula, I need to identify my a, b, and c. So I'm going to re rewrite this equation and place a placeholder for each letter. So instead of writing negative b, I'm going to write negative parentheses plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, and then all over 2a, which is two parentheses. So now I'm going to identify my A, B, and C. So make sure before you identify A, B, and C, make sure that the equation is set equal to zero. So our equation is already set equal to zero, so I can go ahead and identify my A, which is the number in front of X squared, so that's three. And then B is the number in front of X, so that's going to be negative six. And C is the constant, which is negative two. So now I'm going to put that each one of those numbers in the placeholder from the formula. So we have negative b, so b is negative 6, plus or minus square root of b squared, so that's negative 6 squared, minus 4 times a, a is 3, times c, that's negative 2, and then all over 2 times a, which is 3. So now I'm just going to simplify this equation. So negative negative 6 is the same thing as positive 6 plus or minus square root of negative 6 squared, that's positive 36. Negative 4 times 3 is negative 12 times negative 2, so that's going to be positive 24. And all over 2 times 3, that's 6. And this is the same thing as 6 plus or minus square root of 36 plus 24, that's 60 all over 6. And I can simplify square root 60 by reducing it using the perfect square root. So for 60, I know that 4 can go to 60 15 times, and 4 is a perfect square root. So I can rewrite this as 6 plus or minus square root of 4 times square root of 15 over 6. And we know what square root of 4 is, that's going to be 2. So this is the same thing as 6 plus or minus 2 square root of 15 over 6. And the last thing we need to do is to make sure that we reduce all the numbers outside the square root. So one number can go to 6, 2, and 6. And the answer is going to be by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. Plus or minus 2 divided by 2 is just 1. Okay, you can leave the 1 invisible if you want to. And then square root of 15 all over 6 divided by 2 is going to be 3. And that's the solution for this quadratic equation.